Hello, football fans. Chris Terrell here with RotorPros.com to bring another DFS NFL video. That's right, the final DFS NFL video of the season because it's Super Bowl 55. We've got Kansas City Chiefs visiting the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this year, and I'm going to go over my top DraftKings plays, FanDuel plays for the showdowns, as well as some of my top bets and prop bets for the game on Sunday. Uh, before we do that, I want to tell you a little bit about RotorPros for anyone that is new. If you head over to rotopros.com, you're going to see all of our free articles here. We've got strategy articles up on the main page. We've got a quick video showing you a little bit uh, about our Slack chat, which is part of our premium content. And to get that premium content, go to the sign up button, top right hand corner. We've got weekly, monthly, and yearly subscriptions available. Gives you access to our Slack chat, our coaches, our DFS cheat sheets, our skeleton lineups, and a whole bunch more. Uh, we also have free trials for all three of those subscription levels. And if you use promo code RP50, you'll get 50% off your first order after your trial is up. Also, going on this week, we have our members free roll in chat. So you need to be a RotoPros member to be eligible. And all you need to do, um, you can sign up and get the free trial. You're going to be eligible for this week. What's happening is I need you to like the video. I need you to comment with your favorite prop bet of the week. It can be either coin toss, heads or tails. It can be Tom Brady passing yards over. It can be whatever you want. Um, and then just provide me with your DK handle, and I will manually invite everyone to the free roll. And I will also be selecting a random commenter after uh, the contest is over to give away five free uh, RotoPros leaderboard points as well. So the winner of the contest has a chance to get uh, 10 leaderboard points. If you want to know more about our leaderboard point and free roll promotions, definitely hit me up in Slack chat. With that, let's get into some picks here and have a look at DraftKings here first. I'm going to kind of be going back and forth for DraftKings and FanDuel. I just want to give you some of my top strategies and captains for showdown, first of all. Um, that's going to be double quarterback. These teams played back in week 12. It's Feels weird saying this, but it was a quite low-scoring game, although there were 51 points scored. Um, looking at the stats, you would think they probably scored 50 points each. Uh, Mahomes threw for 462 and three touchdowns. Brady threw 41 times for 345 and three touchdowns. It really wasn't much of a run game. Uh, Jones ran for 66 yards. Hilaire, I think, had 37. Uh, Mahomes ran for 28, so he had a couple scrambles in there as well. So he had big-time points in that game. I think he was around 35 and a half here. We'll just double-check on that. Um, back... Week 12, I think 35 and a half was his total. The game log. Scroll down. Yeah, he was uh, 35.28 um, in that game, 462 and three touchdowns and ran for 28 yards there as well. Gronk went off in that game. He was one of the two players that went for over 100 yards receiving. Tyree Kill was the other. He had 269 yards and three touchdowns. I don't know if you remember that or not, but that was absolutely insane. They could not touch him. And if you thought Kelsey maybe had a down game, he did not. He had caught all eight of his targets for 82 yards in that game as well. After that, Casey had no one over 40 yards receiving. And uh, Tampa Bay, although outside of Gronk having that 100-yard game, Godwin had 97 yards and Evans had 50. So Brady spread the ball around real nice to all of his targets. So that's kind of one thing I'm looking at for this game. Um, we've got a high total right around sitting at 56, I think, right now, 56 and a half maybe. So we're projecting for a lot of touchdowns here, a lot of scoring. I think double quarterback is going to be, you know, going to be what we're going to want. I don't think we're going to want to leave a quarterback out of these matchups. Um, with some of the values that are available here, double quarterback isn't that hard, especially getting one, either of them. Um, I've been building quite a few lineups here so far, and either of them in captain, no matter which way you go, there is definitely enough value to still get one of their top pass catchers in there as well. So keep that in mind. Um, they both have elite targets. Uh, when looking at Mahomes, we've got Kelsey and Hill. And on the other side, we've got Godwin and Evans. Not even, I know Gronk's not elite anymore, but he, he's there as well. Um, and then just with the value available, like I said, I think we can easily get one of those two quarterbacks in the captain spot. The only thing is when we do that, and I'm just going to build one out here on DraftKings, um, getting, say, a Tyree kill with your Mahomes captain, Kind of makes things a little bit difficult, but still we have 3,800 average. we got Scotty Miller at 34. Really like that. I'm going to talk about him as a value here coming up. Uh, we got Gronk at 3,000, then we're left with 52. So the lineup doesn't even look that bad uh, whatsoever when you put Mahomes in a captain. So I think it's very easy. It's going to be chalky to have one of those two quarterbacks at captain. You want to be a little bit contrarian. Uh, we know playoff playoff Lenny has been uh, really going off this year. He is 
7,800 flex. He's 11.7. But if we scroll down, we have a lot of value down here at the bottom with Ronald Jones. While he has been out-touched by Fournette in the playoffs, uh, he had the majority of the touches uh, during the regular season. I know that doesn't mean much, but there is a huge price gap here. And what I like with him is we don't really need you know a huge blow-up game. If we get 12 to 15 points in the captain spot, 12 to 15 regular points, and of course we're going to multiply that by one and a half, um, I think that is more than enough because what we can do here, what I really like is we can go ahead and jam in both quarterbacks then. We can get, uh, you, can, you can go Kelsey and Hill, and you're still left with 3,300. You could go Hill and Godwin even better, and you're still left with 5,500. You can go get another mid-tier play. So you can really, really load up with both quarterbacks, elite receivers for both of them, or two elite receivers um, on for one of them, and then some value here. So that's a contrarian way, but mostly in my 20 max builds, I'm probably going to have Brady and Mahomes split eight times each. And then in my other four lineups, I'm probably going to have, say, Jones uh, two times. And then I'm probably going to go like Tyreek Hill or Kelsey. Tyreek Hill seems a little bit the next safest option after the quarterbacks. Uh, so I'll probably go him twice and then Ronald Jones twice in there as well with my 20 max. So some of the values I like. I talked about Gronk. Uh, Brait. We'll just actually, before we jump into those values, we're going to look at some injuries here. So Antonio Brown practiced Thursday and Friday. He is still questionable, going to be a game-time decision, but I would say he's more on the probable side, being that he practiced in full uh, Thursday, Friday. Cameron Brayton missed practice Friday. He's still expected to play, but it looks like he's pretty banged up with a back injury. Um, that's going to lead us to my top, one of my top values is Gronk here at 3K. Um, just being that Brayt is banged up, expected to play, but I still think Gronk uh, is going to get, you know, I'll even take three catches for 40 yards. Um, really look, what we're looking for from Gronk today or on Sunday is a touchdown. But I will, uh, with the Brayt news, I definitely give it a little bit of an upgrade to Gronk, especially at only 3K. Watkins, uh, it sounds like he's going to be back. He's going to be another game time decision. He did practice on Friday as well. So I like that there. If he plays, I do like him as a value play at just 4,200. Uh, makes a lot of sense. Uh, he was good in last year's Super Bowl. I believe he got six passes, somewhere around 40, 50 yards. Um, for 4,200, I'll definitely take four to five catches out of him. Scotty Miller. Uh, what I like about Scotty Miller is that him and Hardman start comparing their numbers, their, you know, their targets, their receptions, their upside. Uh, they're pretty much the same player. Um they're both fast. They both can. They're getting about two to three targets per game. They can break one of those and and really crush their their value. So to me, um, being I know Hardman's probably the more talented of the two overall, um, but I got them pretty close to what they actually provide us in fantasy. And Miller is just thirty four hundred dollars cheaper, so it's just an easy decision for me. Um, I think he's the the correct play out of those two for sure, and his price definitely makes it easier if you're trying to go double quarterback and an elite receiver with one of those two quarterbacks today. So that's kind of my builds over here. Uh, FanDuel is always a little bit different because your captain spot isn't taking, uh, isn't a different price. So you, you pretty much just pick your favorite play in the game. doesn't matter what the price is and you jam them in to your captain spot. Um, you can go Mahomes. I think that's probably going to be the best way to go. Going double quarterback is a little tough if you're going to try and get uh, Kelsey or Hill here, because if you go Hill, a 7200 average or seven average now we can go down here what i do like is scotty miller talked about him um he's the cheapest i'm going to be going on FanDuel, but him and gronk are both 6500 um so you can go one of those two and then you can go up and you can actually get uh Miko hardman's going to be low owned on FanDuel for sure especially if sammy watkins plays and if watkins plays he's going to be the guy i would go with in this kind of lineup here um if he doesn't i definitely like gronk then you're getting uh, Brady and two pass catchers, and you're getting Mahomes and an elite pass catcher. So that's kind of the route I like going on both those sites. And then looking at some bets, if I was to bet the game, the line right now is Kansas City minus three. Um, I don't like the push option. I like to have that half point. So I'd probably buy. I am over on, I play on a site in Canada called Cool Bet, and I can buy a half point quite easily. They make it really easy to kind of, to buy those points. So I'm going to buy the half point and take Kansas City minus three and a half. And I think I got plus 105 on that, um, or no, plus 110 on buying that uh, half point there to take that. So definitely on that. Um, I always like sprinkling on the first touchdown bets just because the number's so good. 
And with the number being good, I feel like we can, you know, we can really pick out three or four. Uh, we only really need to hit on one, especially if, if we hit on a long shot. It kind of pays for all those bets, all those props. Um, so I like Kelsey, uh, Tyreek Hill on, you know, they're the top odds for the first touchdown scored, but it's plus 675. So I like both of those. Um, Clyde Edwards Hilaire plus 1300. I like, you know, they get down towards the goal line. It's Kansas City could do absolutely anything, but, you know, having that run at plus 1300, I definitely like that number. On the Tampa Bay side, I like Evans plus 1100. Uh, his targets share, his target share in the red zone. And then Gronk is plus 1900. Um, that's, you know, pretty much where Brady throws to him now is is in the red zone and especially if they get down inside the 10 yard line um Gronk's a big target in the end zone there so I like that plus 1900 for him so really uh even if we bet all five of those um give me two seconds here yeah five are pretty much breaking even a little bit uh profit there but I'm probably going to choose three to four of those uh with Evans and Gronk in there at those big odds and then probably Kelsey and Hill plus 675. So those are the four I'd probably go with. CEH just seems a little risky. Um, also on the injury front for Hilaire, he finally practiced in full. He's had two weeks now to come back. He didn't play a whole bunch, as you can see here against Buffalo two weeks ago. He was shut down to seven yards on six carries. He did score. Um, so that was good to see, but I think he gets more back, uh, more of the touch share back this week with that two weeks extra to prepare for this game. So a couple props that I like. We'll dive into uh, more props than just the touchdowns here. So we'll start with some some game props first. I like Scotty Miller over one and a half receptions. Um, I kind of talked about, uh, you know, his speed and stuff. I know he doesn't get over. It's more of a gut feel, but I like the number of plus 140. Um, I got that one, so I could see him getting two catches. I like that plus 140 there, so he's one that I'm going to be picking. Correlates with my DFS value play there as well. I like Godwin under five and a half receptions, minus 104. Um, the over actually was, I believe, minus 120 or something like that. So I like the, the better odds here, or the better juice on the on the under five and a half receptions. He's gone under in seven straight and 10 of 15 on the season. And the under also, oh, like I said, has more juice here. So I definitely like that minus 104 on the under there. If Sammy Watkins plays, I like his over three and a half receptions. It's got a plus 100 on it. Um, he went over in the Super Bowl last year. He had five receptions and has gone over in six of 10 games this season. And one of those games, he didn't go over. He got hurt. Uh, that was week five. He got hurt early in that game. On the defensive side of things, I like Carlton Davis over five and a half tackles plus 125. That number jumped out to me, um, seeing as he's gone over in four of the last five games and had exactly five in two games previous to that. So he's either been uh, over or rate right close to that in six of his last seven. On DK Sportsbook, we're going to some fun ones here. Uh, players to attempt to pass over two and a half. Um, so pretty much saying there's going to be a trick play here. I kind of lean that. I like it's plus 165 is the number there. that I've seen that on DK Sportsbook. I can't personally bet that because I can't do DK or FanDuel Sportsbook in Canada. But if you got it, I definitely like that um, that number um, on that prop. Just Kansas City has had four, yeah, four players with pass attempts this season. Two were non non quarterbacks, so I definitely like that. I could even see, uh, you know, you search on the internet, search around, you can kind of see some stuff that Tampa Bay may be working on some trick plays for, for Super Bowl as well. But uh, I'm, I'm kind of thinking it's going to happen on the Kansas City side, and that plus 165, I'll, pl I'll place a small bet on that as well. A couple funner ones. Uh, Roger Goodell shown on the broadcast over one and a half times, uh, break even, uh, or even money, sorry, on that bet. So I love that there's no juice on that. I will take that. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to be shown. I'm kind of thinking like three times. I thought that would be kind of set at two and a half. Um, so I will take the over on that. Uh, Patriots mentions over two times. That's a minus 180 number. But honestly, I felt like that would be like a minus 300 to minus 400. So I will take the minus 180 there and put some on that. I, you're probably going to mention the Patriots five times, I would guess. Um, first song at halftime. This is one I do every year. It's always fun. There's some nice numbers on this. Uh, it's the weekend playing this year. Uh, so two songs I narrowed it down to. I'm going to bet two of them. Um, at plus 350, I like Starboy. That's the favorite, obviously. Um, so plus 350 isn't bad for the favorite. But the song that I like, um, I think they're going to come out to 
that I'm probably going to bet a little bit heavier than Starboy is Can't Feel My Face. Pretty plus 425. I think I've seen it plus 450 in some spots. I pulled those from, it was Odds, odds Checker or Odds Shark, just comparing across the industry. And I think these ones came specifically from Bodog, the Bodog site. So if you're looking for them there. But uh, again, if you want to get into the free roll, so those are some of the picks I like this week. If you want to get into the free roll, make sure to like the video. And then down below, comment with your favorite prop bet that you like, along with your DK handle, and I will get you into the free roll. Thanks for watching the video. Good luck, and let's have a great Super Bowl Sunday tomorrow.